Chapter 15 Zohar, Balint, and Jabir hurried down along the winding corridor to the level below. They could hear the echoes of laughter and the loud voices of Amber and Jade long before they ever caught sight of the two little girls. No, Jade makes him go the other way, Amber laughed with delight. You's making him goes round in circles. I's trying, but I keep turning it wrong, Jade replied. The three boys stopped at the entrance and peered inside before they carefully entered the long room that made up the ballroom. Each side was decorated with long floor-to-ceiling mirrors. These mirrors were different, though. Instead of seeing a perfect image of yourself, you saw all different shapes and forms. Elegant chandeliers hung from the ceilings. The tips glowed with a dancing flame that looked real, but wasn't. Each golden light was covered with a white web, similar to the webs that Spring had shown Zohar earlier. What's that? Jabir asked in awe when a robot that had to be at least six feet tall walked drunkenly in a circle. I don't remember you telling us about a giant robot, Zohar. That's cause I's never saw no giant robot, Zohar replied. I don't think that's supposed to be here, Balint reflected as he watched Jade move her fingers over the small black box in her hands. You's supposed to make him grab her, Amber was saying. You can't even make him walk. That's cause one of his legs is shorter than the others, Jade giggled. I think daddy broke him when he was trying to catch them. I know, but he's the only one we's got left, Amber complained. Eyes can make him crawls, Jade suggested, twisting the stick. Everyone jumped when the robot suddenly collapsed onto the floor with enough force to make the chandeliers rattle. From where Zohar was standing, he thought it looked like one of the huge robot's arms was bent as well. He motioned for the other boys to follow him, and they cautiously moved forward. What's that, Jade? Zohar asked as they drew closer. Jade looked up and grinned. We's found ones of our robots that's daddy and Uncle Keelan didn't smushes, Jade replied. But it's got a broken leg, Amber said. And a bent arm and head, Jade finished. How'd you get us so big? Balint asked, walking around in the still metal frame. We's got mommy's old cloner. It's good at making things big if you knows which buttons to push. You just got to keep going over whatever you want bigger a lot with it, Amber explained. I thought I heard my daddy say you's not supposed to plays with nothings but stuffed animals no more, Jabir said, sliding off of Precious. I likes your armor, Jabir, Jade exclaimed with an appreciative glance at the golden armor that covered his small body. We's already made this one, so it don't counts. Are yous sure? Jade asked with an expression of doubt. I don't think that's what he meant. We's needs him to fight the queen, Jade retorted stubbornly. What else does you have? Zohar asked with a skeptical look at the warped robot. We's got our buckets of minions, Amber said proudly. Yeah, Jade said, pointing to the buckets they had moved from the graveyard and lined up along each side of the ballroom. Why are they all empty? Jabir asked, pointing to the row of buckets that were turned over with their lids lying next to them. Uh-ohs, the twins whispered in unison. We's got to find our minions, Jade whispered. Yes, they likes to gets in trouble, Amber agreed. We's got to have Simba when we makes them, cause they gets into everythings. The boys looked around with a slightly apprehensive look and backed away. Zohar looked around him, motioning for Goldie to come closer to him. He didn't know for sure what Jade and Amber had created, but he had a feeling it had to be bad. We's going to go see if Alice needs helps, he said, motioning to the other two boys to move away. We's might need Goldie and Bio's helps, Jade finally admitted. Eyes needs precious, Jabir stated when she turned to look at his symbiote. You can have halves of them, Zohar finally said, 
looking at Goldie with wide, pleading eyes. Use better helps. Goldie snorted and snickered. Zohar watched as the two symbiotes shimmered and divided. He ran his hand along the section that trotted by him, heading toward Simba where he was checking each bucket. Let's go and find Alice, he muttered, turning and shifting. They were almost to the door when they heard Amber squeal and Jade yell at the snarling symbiotes. Goldie, don't eat them, Jade yelled. You's got to put them in the buckets. La, 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 Alice sang while she danced around the oversized kitchen. Eyes makes pies, eyes makes cakes, eyes makes sweet things for tummy aches. What you doing? Balint asked watching her swirl around in a cloud of colors. Eyes making booby traps, she replied with a giggle. What kinds of booby traps, Jabir asked, sliding off of Precious again when the symbiote laid down. Pretty booby traps, she replied with a wave of her hand. Eyes didn't know his booby traps could be pretty, Jabir mumbled, wondering why she was waving her hands in the air. They's can bees if eyes wants them to. Alice responded, with a slight toss of her pigtails. Are yous almost done? Zohar asked, with an inquisitive expression. Yes, Alice replied, dusting her hands off. I stinks I's done. We's got to get the babies together, Zohar said. Can yous do that? Alice frowned before she nodded. Yes, but what is I supposed to do with them? she asked. Keeps them safe. Zohar instructed. But where's do you want me to take them? She asked in confusion. Mora likes the nursery, Balin suggested. Yous could take them backs there. It's got toys, too. I's going to need some help, Alice said, biting her lip. I's can't bring them all at the same times. I's helps you, Balin offered. Bio and I's are good helpers, aren't we, Bio? Bio snorted and nodded. Zohar glanced up when the lights flickered. It must mean the queen was there. Go gets the babies, Zohar whispered. What's we going to do, Zohar? Jabir asked in a slightly trembling voice. Zohar turned and looked at Jabir. We's going to the room with the big chair, 